Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's take a quick look at these nice trucks out here at the chrome shop. 75th Wildwood. 75. However they say it, however you say it. That looks real good, guys. Real, real good. It's a baby hood. <clears throat> Look at that W9 with a slam to the floor. I actually like this color. Real nice. Oh, damn. Look, I just noticed. Look at his little, his little T bumper in the front. It's skinny. With little lights instead of big lights. Very nice truck. I don't know if this truck is stretched or not, but it looks long due to the small sleeper. <clears throat> Could be stretched a little bit. That's cool, man. Looks like a baby truck, small tanks. <laughs> oh, but look, he has the big T-bumper in the back. Those Sunders look real good, man. Real, real good. You guys know how much I love these trailers. But, um, oh yeah. The whole thing is looking good. We got W9 over there, slammed to the ground. That boy's drop. Damn. There goes my dad. I'm parked next to him. This truck right here. Oh man, the paint looks real good. I'm sure that with a with a nice wash, it will stand out real, real nice and neat. The only thing I think that he's missing that I'm pretty sure he's gonna put it on little by little is the aluminum fifth wheel. Guess the aluminum fifth wheel on point. Look at that. See, it is a baby hood. Baby hood, but it still looks good. What he has? Uh, is that a cat? Yep. Is it? I can't tell if it's a cat motor or not. I can't tell if it's a cat or not, but it looks nice. Looks nice. Let's check out these right here. Look at that one. That was nice too. Real dope. Real clean. Real dope. Real nice. Check this baby out. Holy smokes. That's a 24 inch bumper. Holy cow. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's filter brackets where the lights go. So now they're making these brand new brackets, I guess, that the lights are in the back. So all you pretty much see is just the glare. That looks real nice too. Oh yeah. Lift bumper. Absolutely. With the size of that, you have to have it up. And it's still, I, I, I would still be scared to drive with this thing around like that. Because I don't know if he has air ride suspension or not, but that's low. Look at this other W9 right here. <laughs> Damn. Everybody out here making me look bad. Hey, you know, you already know, cat motor in there. I know this has a Cummings. I can hear it. Nice truck. I'm not a big fan of that back rack, but I mean, it's all right. Nice truck. Damn. Oh, damn. Look at the spread, stainless spread on the W9 right here. I just noticed it. Look, this is what I want. This is what I would do to my spread if I have one, or to my my dad's spread if I ever stay with it or whatever it is, or if I make my, my trailer into a spread. That's exactly the way I would like to have it. See, like that, like that. The, with the mud flap in the front, just like that. The tank in the back, just like that, just like that. Look at that. Damn, this thing is clean, man. This trailer is clean. <laughs> Look at that. And this thing is a 53 footer. 
Look at that. Hmm. That thing is sick, man. This trailer is clean. I don't see not one dent in this trailer. Not one dent. Let's go check out this W9 right here. Damn, damn. I don't know what's going on on 75, but damn, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I hope it's not going north, because I have to go north. Yeah, guys, me and my dad were on the way back to the chicken plant. Gonna go pick up our next load. Like always, we are driving uh, empty up. Look at this. Hmm. Air ride suspension for sure. Oh, it has a Cummings in it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I knew it had to be a studio sleeper because this thing is long. It's big. Plus, it has the frames, which makes, obviously, the truck look longer. But Man, I, I wish. I can't wait. One day I'm gonna have half in my truck like that, lower to the ground like that. <laughs> Sorry guys. That looks nice too. Real nice, real clean. Dang. Working class trucks guys, working class. That's the beauty of them, you know? They look beautiful, not perfect, but they look beautiful. Look at this one right here. Painted air tanks and painted uh, fuel tanks. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And of course, then we got my dad, like I said, and you got the Green Goblin over there. Which we do need to get, truck wash. We gotta get a truck wash. And I am not gonna get it here because I do not like um, washing my truck here across the street. Mm -hmm. Last time I had to wash, I had to wash it and they used so much acid. And I'm not really a big fan of the way they wash it. You know, not criticizing the place, I'm just not the biggest fan. Eso es un güey de papi, eh? Fifty-three foot sliding tandem. <whistles> Damn. Check it out. We are here in Exit Two, guys. I just put on my new uh, cowbell. You guys remember I used to have a. Uh, Damn. I used to have a cowbell, and in one of my other videos, um, I have it there, but I guess that the weld here got busted, and then. When I went to park, thank God that I saw it and I stayed with it. You know, I stayed with a damn belt in my hands. But, um, I mean, it is where it is. I kept it because that's actually a very old belt that my dad used to have in his truck and it's been with him for years. So, I kept it at the house. Actually, no, it's still at the truck. I kept, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna take it home because it's, uh, it's time to retire the belt, you know? I also put on these new guard or bumpers for the, um, trailer dog bumpers whatever you call these things you guys I remember I don't know if you guys do or not but I told you in one of my videos that they already had gotten messed up you know, there you are brand new again there's the bell there's the bell my dad is uh, fixing something with the air chute and then I'm gonna go ahead and go across the street into the chrome shop I was in Wildwood this morning but I'm gonna go ahead and cross the street to the chrome shop to see if they have that piece for the air filter. Because Wildwood, turns out that I ordered that piece over a year ago and uh, Wildwood still hasn't gotten it. So I'm gonna try my luck somewhere else. And if they do have it, then what I'll do is I'll just either cancel my, my, my order in Wildwood or the money that I have there, just keep it there for something else, you know? It's not a lot of money. It's just 35 bucks. But I really want the damn piece. It's not about the 35 bucks. It's about the damn piece. 
And it's about that I've had it, you know, I've had it ordered for over a year already, you know? So, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, man, I'm tired. Anyways, just got up. So, uh, let me put you guys up to speed a bit. So, yesterday, I don't record much. I mean, there, w there wasn't really much to record. As you guys know, I think I told you I did deadhead, me and my father deadheaded out of Miami up to Alabama to start doing these chicken runs again. And uh, what can I say, we got here. I made that phone call, they gave me the doors and we went, we got loaded, but by the time we did that, it was already a little too late. Plus our hours, uh, we, didn't, we didn't have enough hours to keep driving regardless. So it was, it, was, it is what it is. We went, we loaded, came and we parked here at the docks you know where the dirt is at where we always park at and uh here we are guys I and mean, we went to sleep now it is the next day we just did our pre-trip inspection we checked everything um and what can i say it's raining it's not gonna be the the nicest day today i guess over here hopefully it does clear out a bit and uh we make it up to Jersey safe, safe without any issues at all. It is Friday and this load does deliver. This time around, it does deliver on Sunday. So I guess that's better than Monday, right? So uh, yeah, which technically I like it better because it delivers the day before. I don't have to wait till Monday. And by the time I deliver, since it's already Sunday, usually Sundays it's hard to get a a, a load regardless. So I can actually go to sleep and stuff like that because usually what I've been doing is delivering Monday so by the time you go and you deliver you're already up since like you know three in the morning so I like just deliver Sunday and then go to sleep you know have the rest of the day off and relax and do what I gotta do and uh, Monday be in my location and be ready to go so that way I don't have to get up at four in the morning but uh I mean, it is what it is. What can I say? So yeah, let's get out of here. Sorry, let's get out of here. And let's see how this trip up to Jersey goes. Next day here, ladies and gentlemen. So, last night we made it here to Rafine, exit 205 on 81. Check this out. So much land, man, so much land. So much to do here with all this land, huh? So much to do. Anyways, yeah, last night I didn't record much. Let me tell you guys that the night was horrible. It was extremely foggy, guys. It was raining. It, it was, I mean, thank God we had a safe night. We were able to make it here without any issues at all. We really wanted to make it to exit 243, uh, Harrisonburg, exit 243. Right there, you guys know that I've been pulling up there. I've been taking a shower. I, I pump fuel, or, you know, I eat, and then I, I head off from there. But, I mean, like I said, getting here again, 
it got a little clear, but getting here to exit 205, it started getting again horrible. So my dad's like, hey, you know what? Let's just call it a night. I think we drove enough. I mean, regardless, we are only six hours away <clears throat> from our, our destination. So it's pointless to actually keep going. Like I said, usually this load delivers on a Monday or on a Tuesday. And we were able to squeeze out a Sunday delivery, which works perfect for me and also works perfect for my dad because that's it. Tomorrow morning we are done. Then we have to relax the whole day. My dad actually has the load going back already. I don't have nothing guaranteed yet, but we're planning and we have talked to the brokers we know and uh, we're thinking that I'm going to be able to get one on Tuesday. So I'll wait the extra day, which is fine. And uh, yeah, we'll see, how, we'll see how everything turns out and how everything goes. But other than that, my dad is parked next to me. I just finished checking the truck. I'm waiting for it to warm up because it is a little cold. On my, on my, uh, on my, you know, I just did my pre-trip inspection. Everything is good, which is also good, you know. Thank God, we don't have any issues. Um, oh, they're in exit two. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but they're in exit two in Georgia. I bought for the truck at the Chrome shop the numbers. You know, you know how your truck's supposed to have a number. Well, I bought the numbers. Obviously, if you guys follow my channel, you guys know that my number is number thirty. I bought like a chrome real design, like a chrome type of thing design number that looks real nice. Cause I've been thinking that, <clears throat> sorry, I've been thinking that I wanna switch out the, I wanna switch them out from the hood. So I bought those to see where I'm gonna put them at. I don't know, I don't know yet where I'm gonna put them at or not, but um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put them somewhere in the lower panel or somewhere. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how everything goes whenever I decide to, to do it. but. But yeah, other than that, like I said, the night wasn't the best. The day, as you guys can see, is not sunny. It is gonna be raining more up north. So I told my dad, let's get it going now because the last thing I want is to drive at nighttime again with you know with, with water and rain and, and, and the whole nine yards. So yeah. Check this out, guys. So I don't know if you guys can really tell or see the image very good, but it is extremely foggy. It was raining on the way over here, um, but we finally made it to where we're gonna be sleeping at. This load does deliver tomorrow at 6.30. I forgot what, what's what, but I know that one of them delivers at 6.30 and the one at seven in the morning. So we're gonna get up around 5.30 and then head out to the Costco. But um, here we are, man. Hopefully we don't have any issues. My dad already turned off his truck. I'm about, I'm about to turn off mine. So like I said, cars and trucks are pretty far away from us. Um, so hopefully we don't have any issues at all. It's going to start raining over here as well in a few. I got as close as possible to uh, you know, the, the meeting here. So I don't have to run the chance of somebody hitting me or something like that. It's crazy because usually this thing right here is packed with trucks, but right now it's empty. Right now it's empty. Let's see, uh, maybe in the next few hours. I mean, it is Saturday night, like I said before. Tomorrow's gonna be the first load that we actually do that delivers on a Sunday. So, I don't know. Hopefully, Costco's fast and quick like they usually are, you know? Hopefully we don't have any complications, but um, yep. Here we are, guys. Here we are. No issues at all, and uh, thank God. Thank God that we're only 35 miles out. But um, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and, and relax. Let's go ahead and relax, and I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, guys, so we are at our door already. My dad is already backed in, as you guys can see him there. I'm at my door already. I still got the green light. I haven't gotten the red light. Um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting Costco to be this busy on a Sunday. I think this is like a second or third time that I've delivered in a Costco on a Sunday throughout the years, you get me? It's usually throughout the weekends. I mean, throughout the weekdays, I'm sorry. So it being a Sunday, I mean, it's pretty full, as you guys can see. We got some more people over here. 
And uh, we got plenty of people on this side. So uh, yeah, hopefully it don't take too long. I mean, let's see what, let's see how everything uh, turns out. Check this thing out, guys. So we got unloaded there in Costco, right? This morning, and we came over here and check this thing out. It's crazy, huh? Wow. I'm gonna do like a full walk around video, so stay tuned for that as well.